Uh, did you know that New Orleans is often referred to as the most unique city in America? New Orleans is also called the most European city in the USA. Now we will be covering several individual places in this video, and I have many more videos that cover most of these places and spaces in much more detail, so if you want to learn more, make sure to search the NOLA Gent channel for those places you want to get more details about. And it's not hard to see why the city is a vibrant tapestry of cultural influences with threads of French, Spanish, German, Irish, Sicilian, African, and many other heritages interwoven throughout its history. Its rich past has shaped a present full of charm, character, and a distinctive joie de vivre that is undeniably NOLA. This is a city where tradition dances hand in hand with innovation. Now that you're intrigued, let's dive into the must-see attractions in New Orleans. New Orleans is a city with a vibrant history and culture that's reflected in its attractions. Now, let's begin our journey with the most flamboyant party this city has to offer, the Carnival and Mardi Gras celebration. Imagine a whirlwind of color, music, and dance where the city comes alive with parades and parties. This annual celebration is a true spectacle and a must-see for anyone visiting New Orleans. Just remember that Carnival begins at Twelfth Night on January 6th each year and ends at midnight on Mardi Gras Day. Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday and that day is the final day of Carnival celebrations which changes every year based on when the date of Easter falls. So make sure to look at a Carnival Parade schedule to see all the parade events happening and make sure you don't miss any of the fun. Sadly, many tourists arrive the day after Mardi Gras, expecting the celebration will still be happening. After Mardi Gras comes Ash Wednesday, and things slow up in the city until the annual St. Patrick's and St. Joseph's celebrations begin, which celebrate Irish and Sicilian traditions. Speaking of celebrations, Louisiana and New Orleans have numerous festivals throughout the year, so make sure to check out the festival schedules as huge festivals such as French Quarter Fest and Jazz Fest can bring in above average numbers of tourists. There are also plenty of smaller festivals and events which are also a lot of fun and far less crowded. Athletic events such as the New Orleans Saints NFL games, Super Bowls, the Sugar Bowl, and many others turn into huge celebrations. So expect any moment a party could be happening somewhere in the city. During carnival season, you'll witness the city at its most vibrant with everyone coming together to celebrate life and laughter. From the lively Mardi Gras, let's take a step back in time as we meander through the historic French Quarter, cobblestone streets, Creole townhouses, and the sweet melodies of jazz wafting through the air. The French Quarter is the heart and soul of New Orleans. It's an area steeped in history where every building has a story to tell. And don't forget to stop by Jackson Square, a beautiful park that's perfect for a leisurely stroll or a quick sketch by one of the local artists. Last, but certainly not least, stands the St. Louis Cathedral, an iconic symbol of New Orleans. This magnificent cathedral with its stunning Spanish colonial architecture is the oldest continuously active Roman Catholic cathedral in the United States. Its three spires reaching towards the sky, the St. Louis Cathedral is a beacon of faith and resilience, a testament to the city's enduring spirit. Whether you're religious or not, the cathedral's beauty and significance make it a must-see. New Orleans is a city that wears its history proudly, and these attractions are a testament to that. From the energetic Mardi Gras to the serene St. Louis Cathedral, each experience offers a unique glimpse into the city's soul. And remember, the charm of New Orleans lies not only in its attractions, but also in its people, who are generally friendly and happy to share their favorite spots and restaurants with visitors. After all that sightseeing, you'll certainly work up an appetite. Now, if you love to destroy some New Orleans food like I do, just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button 
and give this video a thumbs up because that really helps this YouTube channel get ready to explore the culinary delights of New Orleans. New Orleans cuisine is a medley of diverse tastes that will keep your palate entertained. Let's delve into the world of Cajun cuisine, a hearty blend of French and Southern influences with dishes such as boudin balls at Toops and fried alligator and frog legs at Mayu Lats. Cajun food reflects the more simple cuisine of rural areas in the bayous of Louisiana. Moving on, we explore Creole food, New Orleans' very own culinary tradition. It's a more refined cuisine using more ingredients including a medley of French, Spanish, African, and American Indian tastes, which can be savored at prominent establishments such as Dookie Chase's Restaurant with their famous fried chicken and Commander's Palace with their always popular turtle soup, but no visit to the Big Easy would be complete without a taste of a po' boy sandwich, a time-honored favorite of the city. From the juicy roast beef at Parkway Bakery and Tavern to the crispy fried shrimp at Domelisa's Po' Boy and Bar, these generously filled sandwiches are a must-try. For dessert or breakfast, it is a tradition to make a visit to Café du Monde for Café au lait and Beignets. With your stomach now brimming with goodness, let's guide you to a comfy place to unwind. Whether you're in search of opulence or affordability, New Orleans provides a range of accommodations to fit your preferences. Hotels, if lavishness is your preference, consider the Ritz-Carlton in the French Quarter embodying southern charm and sophistication. For those on a budget, the Hotel St. Pierre offers economical yet cozy rooms in the heart of the French Quarter. Airbnb. If you're keen on a more authentic experience, there's a variety of unique local homes to choose from. Bed and breakfasts. For a homely feel, the Creole Gardens. A uh, bed and breakfast located in the Lower Garden District is a popular choice. Now that we've sorted out your accommodation, let's navigate the best ways to traverse the city. Exploring New Orleans is simpler than you might imagine. This lively city boasts numerous modes of transportation that can help you traverse from the renowned French Quarter to the lush Garden District and more. First up, the French Quarter offers pedicabs, an excellent way to explore the area. Next, we have public transportation with the New Orleans Regional Transit Authority that runs the city's buses and streetcars that weave through this vibrant city. The iconic St. Charles Avenue streetcar is a must-try, appreciated not only for its vintage charm, but also its functionality. It's a fun and economical means to tour the city, with tickets costing as little as $1.25. If you're in a rush or require a more direct path, taxis are always at your beck and call. They're a dependable choice particularly if you plan on discovering the city's nightlife and desire a smooth ride back to your lodging. However, you might feel more at ease with ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft. They're extensively utilized in New Orleans and can offer a more manageable alternative, particularly if you're in a group or have a fixed destination in mind. Bear in mind, New Orleans is also a pedestrian-friendly city. Make sure to get out of the French Quarter and explore the many other neighborhoods of New Orleans that all offer some wonderful sights and beautiful surprises. It's often said that the prime way to experience the Big Easy is by foot. With these numerous choices at your fingertips, you'll soon realize navigating around the Crescent City is a walk in the park. So don't be daunted by the prospect of finding your way around. Embrace the journey as part of the thrilling adventure. And now that you're equipped with the knowledge of mobility, let's conclude with some final pieces of advice for your visit to New Orleans. Embarking on a trip to New Orleans is a unique adventure. Now let's explore some helpful hints to amplify your stay in this lively city. Remember to pack appropriate for the subtropical weather with summer-friendly attire along with wet weather gear. For the frequent spontaneous showers and comfy footwear is an essential. 
it can still get cold around the months of January to March, so don't forget warm clothing just in case during that time. Also, if you plan on dining out at the nicer restaurants, most of them do have dress codes, so make sure to check on those requirements. If you run into frequent long lines at the French Quarter Café du Monde, you can make a quick trip to City Park where you can enjoy the Café du Monde located inside the park for a more serene environment that rarely has a line. Finally, keep in mind that open containers of alcohol are perfectly legal in the city of New Orleans with only the French Quarter usually banning glass containers with some exceptions such as wine stroll events. Currency swap advice, Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport offers international currency exchange but for more favorable rates many banks offer ATM cards that yield far better results so do some research when choosing a bank or a local exchange. Also, credit cards are largely accepted getting around the city. It's mostly laid out like a grid. The French Quarter, Garden District, and many other areas are perfect for strolls and public transport is efficient. Generally, most people in New Orleans are very friendly and quite happy to assist you with directions, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Do watch out for the scammers on Bourbon Street who come up and ask, I bet you I can tell you where you got them shoes. Simply reply with on my feet to avoid any further issues from this very common street hustle. Unfortunately, some violent crime exists these days in New Orleans, so avoid traveling alone and stay alert to your environment. These pointers ensure an unforgettable New Orleans journey. Relish your exploration. So thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, and thanks so much to everybody involved in this video, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends and contacts that would be interested in it, as it really helps with that YouTube algorithm, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching, and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.